Hey guys, how's it going? Today is August 23rd, 2014, and this is going to be a quick personal rig update. Now, nothing major here, but I want to point a couple things out, especially to any people trying to do any water cooling or any type of of modding with the fractal design to find our 4 case. Um, and I haven't seen this done before, but I wanted to try it and it worked. But I moved the hard drive cage from the bottom to the top. And um, it does work. There's small holes that line up. It's kind of a pain to do it. You have to screw down, or I did anyway, instead of screwing up because I have a reservoir in there. So I can't screw up because the screws would be poking out and it wouldn't let the reservoir go in. So I had to screw them down and uh, they sit flush enough to where they don't interfere with the radiator. But um, it worked and I was happy about that. Why did I do that though? Um, for the main purpose to fit this 120 millimeter ra radiator down at the bottom. Um, initially I had it at the top front. The fan was screwed in to the fan mounts. The 140 millimeter fans actually snap in. The 120 millimeter have to screw in, which means I had to mount the radiator to the fan. Wasn't crazy about that idea. It made it hard. Um, to take out the fans and clean the dust filters and everything so I just didn't like that and, and another reason I wanted to do it was because I had a 140 millimeter fan at the bottom which was causing crazy rattling with the dust filter at the bottom it took me a while to pinpoint the cause but that was it so if you're thinking about putting a fan at the bottom of the R4 I think twice about it because that rattling drove me nuts now that I moved it no rattling completely silent works out well plus I like having the radiator mounted to the case itself so um, that worked out I thought about putting the radiator at the top rear um, which works with the inlet and the outlet at the top if you try to do it the other way with the inlet and outlet at the bottom there's a ledge here that prevents you from doing that so the only way to do 120 millimeter radiator at the back of the R4 is with the inlet and at the top and if you're doing that you're probably not going to be able to get a radiator at the top like that 240 I have so I actually like the flow of the tubing with this going down to the bottom from top to bottom so I was okay with that of course in order to put that in there I had to get the hard drive cage out which worked also freed up some space in here for better airflow I noticed about a one or two celsius temperature benefit from doing that so that was great um, Fractal Design was also generous enough. I requested um, a set of the black PCI slot covers and they sent them to me. Absolutely no charge. So those come with the blacked out version of this case which came out about a month or two ago. I can't remember. But everything that you see white is black. And I kind of like those aesthetics better so they were kind enough to send me those and it does look a lot better. Yes, the hard drive uh, sleds and the fans are white, but you don't see that with the cover on, so I'm not worried about that. Um, yes, yeah, so that's about it then. Um, in terms of gaming news, I think 2015 is going to be a great year for gaming and PC hardware in general. i got Broadwell coming out, DDR4 RAM, Z97 chipset, Haswell E, um, Maxwell GPUs, a lot of good games coming out too in 2015. I personally am looking forward to Far Cry 4. Um, Hardline, I'm not completely sold on yet, uh, but we'll see. I may get it anyway. I still play Battlefield 4 religiously, so. And I'm even debating on getting the new Call of Duty. Yeah. I skipped Ghosts, so maybe I'll go with the new one. But anyway. That's pretty much it. You guys got any questions, feel free to let me know. Till next time, bye now.